and we are oh, yeah. we are graced by the newest OAC champion. Congratulations, Tony. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate Tony it. Tatro, our uh, our head men's lacrosse coach, who's got a team that uh, checked off the first box in terms of the goals you wanted to achieve. Um, I guess before I ask you too much about the the championship and and this team and this year. This feels like a defining moment in, in the program, and it feels like it's a lot more than just about the guys that are on this team because you guys have been so stinking close for so long to finally get over that hump. I have to imagine that, you know, the outpouring of support from from alum uh, and, and from the school itself has been really cool. Yeah, it's it's been fantastic. The alumni coming back to the games. Uh, it, I was out here, Mike's, uh, after uh, our game on Saturday, just uh, Wednesday. Um, so it was fun to hang out with them and, and see them out and the, the family. So it's it's been uh, it's been really awesome. We had uh, when we played Otterbein, I think we had the largest uh, attendance we've had the game in a long time. So it's been pretty cool to see the fans come out, the alumni, the families. It's, it's been great. And and you know the top teams in the league seem to be fairly level with each other, um, which is obviously cool. You you know it's fun to to know that there's a team that's way above the rest that you kind of use as a measuring stick, but. I think it's also really cool when you get a bunch of really good teams that all play together that, I mean, truly anybody could win on any given day. Absolutely. Um, kind of helps you get locked in, and it, it feels like that's kind of been the M.O. down the stretch. Am I on target there? Yeah, there's there's no doubt. There's no doubt. The OAC is a really fun conference. A lot of teams, the top five teams, are really good teams. So, uh, you know, playing playing Capital uh, here on Wednesday is, is going to be a good one. They're a good team. They're, they've got a new coach, but they're well coached. Uh, so, and they're, they're no strangers to OAC championships as well. So, Last played Capital uh, back on March 26th, which was an eternity ago, considering you were on a 12-game uh, win streak. Um, I know we talked, you know, around the time of, of the John Carroll game, and you've had a couple games since then. Uh, before we talk about the Ohio Northern contest that, that clinched it this past weekend, take me back to the Wilmington game and what went so well for you in, in a 34-2 to win over the Quakers. Yeah, I talked to the starters and the seniors. I said, hey, guys, like, you know, I, I know we're, we're a better team, uh, and we, we need to act like it. We need to go out there and, and show that we are uh, from, from the first face off uh, until we let off the gas, which is the end of the game. So they went out there and did a fantastic job rallying the boys and just doing, doing what we needed to do. Um, I think the biggest thing for me was just playing Baldwin Walls across, playing our brand, running our system. So we did that in a big win, and so I was proud of them. How about the, the Ohio Northern game? Because you, you fell behind early. You know, you're only down a couple goals, and a Two goal game in lacrosse is nothing. Yeah, um, you know, to to be down two nothing at the end of the first quarter, give us an idea of what the conversation was like between you and and the team after the end of the first quarter, where you, you knew you weren't playing your best, but still had a lot of game to figure it out. Yeah, what I love about these guys is that they're resilient. Uh, they don't they're not focused on the score as much as about the next play. What, what's the next thing we're going to do? So when I go to them at halftime, it's, it's say these are the adjustments we need to make. These are the adjustments that you made uh, prior to the quarter. We got a, a really big goal out of Jake Schrolling that I think uh, lacrosse a big momentum sport. So you score that goal at the end of the quarter, uh, won a big face off. Uh, Neil Randall won in there and, and we were man up to start the, the second half. So we certainly gained momentum and just made some of those adjustments and uh, the boys did a, a hell of a job. Down 4-1, uh, down getting late in the uh, second quarter. The Jackets went on a stretch where they scored five goals in a row and didn't give one up for a good 14 minutes and uh, held the lead against Ohio Northern the rest of the way. And so now we, we turn our attention toward the OAC tournament. And uh, just like you knew during the regular season that if you don't go out and play your best, you're probably going to get beat, uh, you got to hit the reset button mentally and get ready for a team that you saw such a long time ago. When you scout capital, I, I think it might be – uh, a more challenging scout to see somebody so long after the fact. Like if you play Ohio Northern again, back-to-back -back games, it's fresh. They're not, you know, they, they probably can't change too much. Capitals practically a different team than they were Absolutely. six weeks ago, right? How talk about the challenge, if you will, of, of um, trying to get ready for an opponent that you know you played such a long time ago. Yeah, that was our, our first OAC game, uh, which is crazy to think about. So we've got them again, and, and they've they've really improved. I think uh, they've, they've come on hot the past couple games. They, they've got a great offense. Uh, so, you know, they've got a, a bunch of shooters. So our, our guys, they're ready for it. I don't think uh, 
their guys don't change too much. I think their confidence and tendencies in the other teams do. So, um, you know, but at the same token, our guys, they've got, they're a lot more confident in what we do. They're a lot more bought in. So at the same token, while they've improved, uh, we've been proving as well. How much do you guys talk about NCAA tournament stuff? I know it, and I know it's, it, it's sort of out there. It's very attainable. It's not guaranteed. You, you probably need to win the tournament, but at this time of the year, man, that feels really realistic. Yeah, yeah. Um, we honestly we don't we don't talk about winning very much. Hmm. We we uh, we talk about what's the next step. What are we going to do to beat the next team? So I think that the focus of these guys, uh, it's it's what makes a great team. Um, the, that they don't care what our record looks like. They're, they're all about playing the next game. So that, is, that has been our goal. It's, it's there. Our, our guys know that. Uh, but they know to achieve that goal that you've got to focus on what's next. Uh, they've done a great job with that. Well, we are awfully excited about the success that you've had here lately. Um, I don't want to ask you too many questions that are reflective because you're, you're right on the precipice of your goals. And uh, winning an OAC regular season championship is a big deal. I know it's something you've been working toward for a long time. And uh, there's a lot of people really proud of this group with uh, with what they've accomplished. But you know, you got some big things in store here coming up. Oh yeah, it's it's been a, a hell of a season. I, I'll, I'll I'll take you back to this, uh, and I, I we don't we don't talk about this, but I remember Coach Perella was like uh, after the Washington League game. He goes, you know, we could go undefeated the rest of the way out. And I was like, <laughs> it's gonna be a tough <laughs> challenge, but I, you know, we could. You're right. Uh, so uh, the boys made it happen again, focusing on uh, the game at task, uh, which is they they've done a great job. I'm excited for them. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And congratulations to you on uh, taking an opportunity like this. I, I know you were a part of the program before you took the head coaching opportunity, but uh, it's still it's a little different being in the head coach chair than it was your previous one. Absolutely. A um, little different weight on your shoulders, and uh, and I bet winning feels a little bit better. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, the boys <laughs> make it a lot of fun. Winning with these guys, uh, I, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. Very, very cool. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best in the OAC tournament this week. Appreciate it, Brian. All right, Thank you. Tony Tetro of our men's lacrosse team. 13-3, and three, they've won 12 games in a row. Unbelievably fun to watch of late. Had a perfect 9-0 run through the uh, conference schedule in the regular season, and they are geared up for a big week uh, in the OAC 